Google launched its augmented reality platform AR Core 1.0 to the public, with the platform being available for more than 100 million smartphones. AR Core 1.0 includes support for anchoring virtual objects to any textured surface, not just flat horizontal ones. AR Core allows developers to build apps that can place digital objects on top of a phone's camera view and then have them behave like a real-world objects. Education lays the foundation for the future of our species. So, it would make sense to use the smartest, most advanced technologies we have to benefit our future generations. Artificial intelligence among one of them is an industry that is growing smarter every day. In one day event organized by Christ Institute of Management and Vision Digital India at Lavasa, experts from the industry gathered together and shared their outlook on the growing space of technology in education sector. It's already a game changer in the field of education. So if you take for instance, uh, Google has something called as Expedition, Microsoft has something called as uh, HoloLens. And these actually combine um, you know, the, the benefits of artificial intelligence and virtual reality to take learning to a completely different paradigm. A lot of initiative from the government side also to ensure that people who, have, who are real experts in the field are encouraged to come, and come up with their own uh, MOOCs. At the same time, the technology will become the provider of reaching to a much more larger mass than it used to be. Now, maybe there is a lot of criticism with regard to how uh, machine learning as far as and, uh, uh, artificial intelligence has not been able to make such inroads when it comes to the Western um, online courses. Maybe that might get solved with this emphasis by the government towards the technology in the case of education sector. You make the process of education more efficient because children get access to data faster. They're able to simulate more scenarios through the machines, which gives them insights into the big, bigger parts of the world. Very certain and, and a very immediate requirement of sharing uh, the best practices that happen in the analytics industry with the educators. The support that we require would be broadly on two fronts. One is vetting the curriculum, trying to see to what extent it reflects the reality in the industry. Second is sharing best practices and also to the extent possible without compromising on the, uh, on the confidentiality requirements. Sharing data that we can use for teaching, training better analytics professionals. machine stopping the child from developing some of the social skills and psychological skills required to be resilient and survive. Example, how to make decisions. Is the machine replacing the ability of the child to make a decision? For example, if everything becomes MCQs, right? A lot of learning today is choice. Now, it's easier to make a choice than to think of an unprompted un, uh, uh, response to a problem statement. So I think children today need to be taught in school despite having all of these technological in interventions. A responsibly designed app will actually help a child develop the social skills they need to survive. With the sudden rise in Bitcoin's valuation, cryptocurrency miner malware became a hot attack vector for cyber criminals. According to the Annual Threat Report 2018 by Quick Hill Security Labs, in 2017, Lab detected over 14 million hits of cryptocurrency miners. The Labs predict cryptojacking to explode in 2018 and discreetly use endpoints to illegally mine cryptocurrency. Labs also detected over 1 million Android malware in 2018. As more and more people use mobile devices for financial transactions and to store personal data, Quick Hill Security Labs predicts an increase in the threat to mobile devices in 2018.